Hello again, everybody. This is Arcane Society once again. And um, I think, for the most part, I have finished the tree processor. As you can see, it's quite a bit bigger. Um, it's housing all of the it's housing all of the conveyor belts, uh, the sand conveyor belts, so they all run independently of each other. So let's go go inside right now and check it out. You got the storage house right here, and uh, yeah, let's just go inside. Each of these I had showed you before. Right now they're all housing. Uh, saplings they are all planted right now in, in the center here. I think one of them grew earlier, so it should be empty. Yep. So I've got saplings in these chests here, and then all the chests where there's two next to each other, and on the ends there's uh, bones. So I can uh, get some bone meal running. Let me show you real quick. Items is amazing for the right click creation. Okay, so let's make sure I got this all on. As you can see, it's got all the alarms and stuff from the, the first version system power, water, current, and so on. Uh, shuts off all the water there, makes it flush with the wall too. So that works. And uh, I changed the engine as well, so. Now it's running on a uh, RS Norlash with a timer switch, so you don't have to worry about any noisy pistons anymore when it's running, which is good. And uh, let me show you how it works now. I'm going to just basically spam foam meal on all of these and just let it run. I'd like to thank Dark Wine, first of all. He, um, his original design basically gave me a few ideas on how I could compact everything. I've, uh, I've done away with the uh, dirt. You'll see this little hole right here. So instead of pulling this dirt out of the way, um, it actually just pushes all the logs this way. And so as soon as sand gets pushed, it falls through this hole. And then it triggers... Uh, if, if the solid block is right here, it triggers this repeater, which will begin the conveyor belt system. So as soon as, as, soon as sand goes over here, it will fall down, and then this won't be triggered. So the conveyor belt will stop itself once all the sand is run through. Put sapling there. So now it's running all of these, pushing them all down. Get on over here. And you can see that it's uh, producing all the logs from all eight trees, so. Yeah, significantly faster when you're spamming each tree at a time, if you ask me. And uh, everything else works the same way. You've got uh, the row updating, so it pushes it out to the side, and you got the entire floor moving it up once it's over. So I got the detector over here. And then I've got the max capacity alarm up here again. And uh, what I'm going to do is tweak this a bit so uh, we can actually hook it up to an auto shutoff once it reaches max capacity. It's going to be really cool. It'll just stop it for you. You don't have to worry about shutting off yourself. See? And we got the, the alarm working and everything. You can actually turn off the alarm itself so it stops blinking, but it still beeps. Or you can turn off the audible alarm and then leave the max capacity on. So you can, you, know, you can choose between visual or audio uh, alarms, or have both on or both off. 
how the juice is processed, and it's uh, pushing the rest of the sand through. Now, as you can see, uh, it's actually doing it one at a time. I, uh, I got a little stupid earlier, and uh, it's the way I was funneling everything. Down here, you'll see in a second. It actually, uh, it actually pushes all of these trees through individually, and it comes through on the sides here, and then this one's pushing through. And uh, it works in pairs of two. So there's two over here that get pushed to here, and then two over here get pushed to here, and then these two get pushed together, and then the final two get pushed into the center here, and then it goes to the collection area. And then it's basically just mirrored on the other side. So it's all uh, multiples of two, basically. But uh, I just got, I just thought of this, and there's a much easier way. The reason I did it this way at first is because I couldn't think of a way to get this to uh, detect when a block was on a corner. Uh, and if I had them all going at the same time, then there would be clogs when it got to the center. And then this would get backed up, and then this one would eventually push over here, and it would destroy this redstone, which would just destroy the corner detection altogether. But I just, I just had an idea, and uh, it's actually going to make things a lot easier for me. I'm just going to add a second piston, a uh, sticky piston, that will, so I can just detect horizontally, and it'll just pull it down, and then pull it, push it to the side, so that it'll be a whole new row, and then I don't have to worry about it uh, being incorrect, or uh, I don't have to worry about it running into redstone, so. Yeah, I just planted all eight trees, and I got about 36 logs from that, and if we go back over there, you'll see the system's all ready to go again, and I can just plant more saplings and do some more bone meal spamming on it. So yeah, uh, there's going to be, probably next week, I'm going to work out the kinks and uh, get a version 3.0 going that uh, runs even faster than this, because this is still way too slow for my taste. It's actually, I mean, it's great when you're planting the trees and just letting them grow on their own, because uh, I was actually standing around and watching it happen, it's pretty cool. So we got all the trees here again, and uh, getting processed through, and uh, let me show you the conveyor belt system here. So like I said, it, it, uh, it, uh, it'll get pushed over here, and see how there's a log here over this hole? If it was sand, it would fall through instead, and it'll come down here, have these auto-triggered conveyor belts, head all the way up, and then do another conveyor belt, and then another conveyor belt. And then all the way at the top until it eventually gets pushed and it gets uh, launched by gravity. And this is another uh, uh, idea that Darkline had uh, displayed in his original design. It's actually very, it's an ingenious design, really. I mean, just it works based on gravity. So you just have 12 buffered up right here, 12 sand blocks all ready to go. And then um, this work, the sticky piston pulls them if it happens to be there. And you get triggered uh, by that. Uh, by that uh, this redstone uh, computer that it displayed earlier. And it just launches it over here and it goes all the way to the top, and takes it up there, and then add activate, that activates the uh, sticky piston. So if there's a uh, solid block there, this piston will be activated. If it's just a sand block, it, uh, it actually, here you'll see in just a second, it moves too fast because the sand passes by it and then falls almost instantly. So this piston opens and closes faster than this one can push it down. And so it keeps the sand there. And then this refills itself as uh, as the sand's empty, empty and down the bottom. Pretty cool design. I, I have to give a lot of thanks to Dark Launch because he did inspire me a lot with this design for the uh, just some of the fixes and not having to deal with the uh, clogs at all. So there's no clogs anymore. Completely uh, clog-free, 
there's not going to be any bugs running with it, so you can just run it constantly and it'll uh, automatically fix itself. So, yeah. This is Arcane Society, and uh, I'm going to be trying to work on a version 3.0 in the coming week that'll be a lot faster than this. Um, it'll be about as fast as the, as the original design, but it'll work with all eight of these. So, look forward to it. Have a good day. Peace.